respected dignitaries on the dais delegates brothers and sisters and my dear comrades kerala welcomes this opportunity with utmost pride hosting the all india conference of edwa the strongest democratic organization of indian women is a historic moment edwa and kerala have progressed immensely since the last time kerala hosted this conference in the year 1986 36 years ago the progressive women organizations that function in different states integrated to form the all india democratic women's association in 1981 thus our organization has been leading all the big and small fights of women across india for the past four decades the aim of this conference is to strengthen these women struggles to take them forward revolutionary transformations have happened to both kerala and edwa within these three and a half decade the formation of cpim led ldf government under comrade pendrai vijayan for the second consecutive term has indeed changed the course of history of kerala and when it comes to the edwa membership it has grown to 53 lakhs from 193 years back to now it is 57 lakhs i wish to analyze these two achievements in the background of the current political scenario in india the right wing economic policies and the soft hindutva approach that the congress led union governments undertook until 2014 got all the more powerful, powerful in the country it is true that the congress lost its power however the newly formed rss led bjp government has been trying for the past 8 years to strengthen the new liberal economic policies and also to take the soft hindutva approach to a higher level of hindutva extremism as a result when the fundamental concerns of indians such as poverty hunger unemployment etc are increasing on the one hand the wealth of billionaires are increasing on the other secularism and democracy are under threat as the hindutva nationalism is gaining force the only alternative today is the left forces their interventions to eradicate poverty hunger and unemployment and efforts to safeguard the values put forth by the indian constitution popular movements prove that the livelihood issues of farmers and laborers can only be solved through their organized fight this is the left perspective this was evident from the recent protest by indian farmers that crossed about 200 days which drew the world's attention towards the anti farmer farm bill of the central government farmers including women walked hundreds of kilometers to participate in that protest the period also witnessed several movements of women upholding their rights our women are aware that their livelihood issues can be resolved and their rights such as equality can be protected only by strengthening an organization of democratic character this is exactly what the increasing number of membership in the association is suge- is suggesting kerala is representing a model of left alternative that is coming up in india when the union government policies are tormenting the lives of lives of common people kerala is moving forward with its people friendly and welfare oriented programs the second term of comrade pendrai government is the acceptance of the people for this alternative policies it is also an appreciation for the secular values of the left government kerala has a government which opposed the implementation of citizenship citizenship amendment act the de- determination of this government to stand with the minorities and the uncompromising attitude towards the destruction of hindutva extremism is substantial 
comrades the status of women in indian society demands a better and equal position for women in all respect of the of life during the freedom movement almost all the leaders of the struggle believed that women should be given equal status in free india and that all discriminatory practices must stop and for that to happen it was thought to include such provisions in the constitution of india which would help eliminate age old exploitative customs and traditions and also such provisions which would help in empowering women socially economically and politically but society is set to accept women as equal to men and crimes are crimes or abuses against women are still on the rise for that to change such society's age old deep rooted mindset needs to be changed through social conditioning and sensitization sensitization programs therefore the concept of women's empowerment not only focuses on giving women strength and skills to rise above their miserable situation but at the same time it also stresses the need to educate men men regarding women's issues and inculcate a sense of respect and duty towards their rights kerala is unique in many aspects as compared to rest of india and aidwa has played a crucial role in the growth of kerala along with all the progressive movements in spite of having a low per, low per capita income and unemployment and when compared to indian other indian states kerala has achieved a quality of life which is much higher than all the other states in india as well as some industrial industrialized countries notable among the among its achievements is the good health indicator in terms of morality and fertility rates and high levels of utilization of formal formal health services this unique phenomenon of socio economic development has also been very widely referred to as the kerala model of development we have a long story of different struggles for this achievement and edwa as yes, the major women's organization has contributed well we strongly believe that the delegates from the other states would be proud to acknowledge that this conference is being hosted by kerala a democratic secular state it is the land of legends like lalitambika andarjanam kunjide kunjumada kunjima madavi kunjimadavi nagamma arya andarjanam sri narayana guru ayyangali poikayil poigayil yohannan chattambi swami vaikam abdul khader malavi and so on so many others also the atmosphere of kerala will give us strength to form the action plan to demolish the regressive forces in the country without further ado let me come to my duty comrade we have with us an exceptional personality who happily agreed to inaugurate this all india conference as we all know the daughter of the renowned renowned scientist dr vikram sarabhai and much admired artist mrinal ni sarabhai is a respected figure in india who takes daring stands against communism her remarkable fight against the gujarat riots in 2002 has given all of us much inspiration now the chancellor of kerala kalamandalam deemed university